Hi everyone, I'm Rich Tola. Welcome to another 5 minutes of fat burning workout number 75. We're going to continue to work your chest and your shoulders today using downward facing dog and in yoga or Sanskrit that's called Adho Mukha Svanasana. So let's get started in downward facing dog. We're going to come into it with hands are going to be shoulder width apart and your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. So you want to sit the weight back, you know how we did this coming into it? yesterday's workout 74? We're going to sit the weight back, lengthen through the torso, and then lift the hips up. Good. Now position your feet. So your hands and your feet are on parallel planes, hip distance apart. You're an upside down V. You want to kind of relax through the shoulders. You're not up in your shoulders. Inwardly spiral your arms and then relax. And then you're just going to come forward. So when you come forward, your shoulders are above your wrists. So from downward facing dog, when you just push back using your core, coming forward, it's planks, so your shoulders are above your wrists, so readjust your feet so that that happens. We're just going to do five of those, so we're just going to float forward, pushing through the heels for one, using your core to bring you back, two, right, nice and easy, these are good to wake up the core, the low back, three, good, let's go, four, and then nice and easy, relax your shoulders, five, good, now we're going to hold here. We're going to hold here in a high push-up position, plank, and we're just going to lift up the left foot. We're going to lift up. See how I'm flexing through that heel? And then we're going to go down about three to six inches if you can. If you want to hold here, hold here. We're going to do five on each side, just like that. Ready? We're going to go one, two, stay with it, three, four, five. If it feels better, now plant that foot. If it feels better to just hold, push back to downward facing dog. That's your resting point. Remember, if it feels better to stay right here, stay right here. Let's go to the other side. Lift up the right foot. Really reach out through that heel. We're only going down three to six inches right here, right? Let's do five of those. Ready? One. Pull through the core. Two. Stay with it. Three. Don't hold your breath. Four. Stay with it. Five. Back down. Push back. Lower your knees for a child's pose, right? Reaching out through, forehead to the ground. Good. Let's do another set. Let's come back into it. So remember, you can sit the weight back and lift up for your downward facing dog. Upside down V. Let's come forward into a high plank right here. This time we're going to bend the left and we're going to lift it up. See how I'm keeping my knees together, right? Trying to step that foot, that sole of the foot on the ceiling. We're going to do the same. Just a five, ready? Or you can hold right there, pull through the core, engage your core. So for a five, ready? One, two, three, four, stay with it. Five, good, lower that down, push back, downward facing dog, relax through the shoulders, let's come forward, plank, right? Second half of this, let's lift up, lift up, bending, stepping on the ceiling, right? You're only going down three to six inches, about halfway, ready? Let's do it for a five. Ready? Five, four, pull through the core. Three, two, one. Good. Lower back down. Lower your knees for a child's pose. Challenging work there, right? Push out through. We're only going to do one more set here. One more set. Right? Always waking up that low back. If that feels good to just rest there, rest there. Last set here. So, we're coming into downward facing dog, right? Relax. You're not in your shoulders. Stay here. Push the weight through your heels. Let's come forward to plank. Good. We're going to hold there. Now we're going to lower all the way down to the ground on a 10 count. Elbows in. You're not flying your elbows out. Elbows in like one straight rod of energy. Right? Remember that plank. Let's do it. For a, all the way down for a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stay in a plank. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, good. Release all the way down. Let's bring your chin forward, arms by your side, and just kind of roll the hips. You know, we like to roll the hips here. Good, let's push it back. So pushing it back, just want to push back, elbows in, push it back, elongate through the spine. Excellent, and then roll it up. Really good. Excellent work. So you continue with your shoulders and your chest. You can do numerous sets of those. Always enjoy your workouts, but again, try to bring some yoga, some cardio, whatever, whatever you prefer into your day. And enjoy. We'll see you next time.